Hey gang, I'm down in my basement and uh, today I'm going to plant some onions. So I wanted to show you my onions from last summer. Uh, they're just stored in one of these little crates that you can get from um, uh, Michael's. They're just like little craft crates. They're probably, I don't know, one foot by two foot by a foot deep. But yeah, these are the onions from last year's garden and you can see they're in pretty good shape still. I've got one here that is starting to sprout and what you can do with these green ones is you can just chop them up and use them in a recipe or you can chop them up and dry them and use them later but I'll let that one grow out a little bit longer before I do that so I'm going to show you how to plant onions today from seed to harvest so stay tuned okay guys when you're going to plant onions you have to remember that planting them from seed takes quite a while you can't just buy the garden seeds at the garden in like May and stick them in the you know the seeds in the garden expect to have onions by fall it just doesn't work that way they need a little bit more time this is why a lot of people will buy onion sets or you know onion you know like the round onion sets or the onion plants uh, to start their onions but if you truly want to start them from seed this is what you have to do now what I've got here is I've got a couple of wash tubs <clears throat> and uh, just you know some cheap Walmart wash tubs and I've got in here some um, regular potting soil I usually get the um, miracle Grow garden soil but it needs to be sifted out for these onion seeds because the garden soil largely consists of bark chips and that makes it very difficult for tiny seeds to emerge so I just simply sift it out through one of these cheap uh, strainers and this just gives me this really nice fine soil to plant in now this is this stuff is dry as a bone you can see that it's been sitting all winter and there's just not a drop of moisture into that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to it don't try to plant your seeds in dry soil and then water them the water will just run off and the soil will never get soaked properly so uh, I'm just going to add like probably probably about a little about a quart and a half of water there and then we'll let that soak in and we'll come back in a while it's going to take a while to soak in so we'll come back in a while and see what the soil looks like at that time all right guys uh, this soil has sat for a while and I've just been stirring it you can see that there are some some parts of it that are that are damp but there's some parts that are still it's just not the consistency I would like to see so I'm just going to add a little bit more water to it and we will let that sit just kind of spread that out here let that sit for a minute and then we'll come back and check it out I'd like it to be uniformly moist okay guys we've had a little bit more time for this uh, water to sink into this soil and you can see that there's just no dry spots now it's just all nice and damp and you know you think that this is kind of crazy to take this much time with the soil but it's all about the soil the soil is going to make all the difference whether you have success or not so you want your soil to be wet so that when you squeeze it together no no water drips out but that it holds its form uh, so you could just barely touch it and it, it crumbles apart. That's exactly what you want it to be like. So I'm going to move some things around and get a container and show you what is next. Okay, so what I've got here is these are some of those Ziploc um, containers for leftovers. And I've just got some holes poked into the bottom of this. You can do it with an awl or you can do it with a... Um, something that you heat up with a lighter you can meld them you can um, do them with a drill whatever you just want a bunch of holes in there then you want one without holes and you're gonna nest these inside of each other and you you can see that that just leaves a little bit of a gap underneath there and uh, that's important because you want good drainage and then you also want there to be a little bit of water in there in case the roots get thirsty they don't get dried out so I'm just gonna take this uh, I don't want yogurt cup here and scoop some of my soil out and I'm just going to fill this up I'm 
making a big mess here. It's okay. It's just dirt. Cleans up. Okay. So I'm just going to shake that around. Kind of smooth it out here. Maybe one more scoop. It's going to settle some when you start to water it. Even though it's wet, it's going to settle some. So I like to get it pretty full. Just smooth it out. And you know what? Just get your fingers in there. Don't worry about gloves. Just touch the soil. It's good for your soul. And I like to use warm water when I'm getting a seed bed ready. You're not, you're not going to... The warm water just seems to absorb better and faster. You're not going to pack this down. You're just going to firm it down with your hand. Okay? And uh, then what we're going to do here is get our seeds. All right. So these are from Johnny Seeds. These are the Patterson variety. Uh, the Patterson variety is the variety that will store the longest in your storage area so that's why I have these seeds and onion seeds are notorious for not lasting very long so they it's hard to save them year over year and um, if you can't find the Patterson's then you're gonna want to go ahead and get the um, Utah Spanish or the yellow Spanish uh, those are the second longest lasting so you can just look down in here there's the seeds down in there. I'm going to sprinkle this entire package in this container because, again, it just doesn't do you much good to save them. And you can plant these really densely. So I'm just going to sort of sprinkle a line here, line here, line here. I'm just going to sprinkle them around until they're all gone. And I, you know, you guys can't see those, but I'm just going to kind of firm those seeds into the soil a little bit. Make sure there's none left on my fingers. And then I'm going to get some very fine soil and dust it over these. So let me grab that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is Seed Starting Mix um, by Jiffy. It is a very, very fine mixture, as you can see. It's just very, very fine. Um, you could plant your seeds in, in nothing but this mixture. Uh, it would be fine, but there's just really not much to it. There's no nutrition in it. Um, and, you know, planting a whole bunch of seedlings in this is kind of expensive. Potting soil is so much cheaper, you know, if you just sift that bark out and you can compost the bark. So I'm just going to take a handful of this and I'm just going to barely sprinkle it over those seeds not very deep you don't want it deep at all you're just going to barely cover the seeds kind of like you're putting on some parmesan cheese maybe a little thicker than that but um, make sure you get the edges in case any of your seeds got there on the edges but it's just very fine stuff okay and then what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take it in and I'm going to get a spray bottle with just plain water in it. I'm just going to mist this down. Then I'm going to put a lid on it so that it'll hold, hold the moisture in. Put it under the grow light. And you could do this in a window seal. It would be fine. Uh, they, onions don't really need a lot of light. So I'm going to get that set up and we'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So I'm back here in my makeshift um, seed starting area. I've just got some some of these Home Depot shelves uh, that you put together and I uh, got some cardboard down here so that the dirt doesn't fall through. I've got this back here. Um, what we're going to do, I've got some grow lights up there and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my spray bottle and I'm just going to mist this down trying not to blow any of that out of there and you just want to get it good and saturated. The whole idea is to get your seeds saturated so that they will 
sprout but you don't want to drown them either that's why we have the drainage and that should be good enough just get it good and saturated so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to put a lid on this that will keep the moisture in the light will help it um, germinate and when they pop out of the ground I will let you guys see what they look like later but this is why we pre-moisten the soil so we do not want to have to water these while they're trying to sprout those seeds are so small we would wash them away so that's the secret to starting onion seeds and any small seed that's I've just developed that method over the years and it works really great so we'll come back uh, in a few days when these have sprouted and we'll just try to show you through the year what the process is of growing great onions anyway have a great day guys Hope this helps you. Talk to you soon. Bye now.